place approximately 600 of these greenhead fly traps from the uh, New Hampshire border down to Gloucester, Mass, along the North Shore. We generally start the first week in May, and we, it takes us approximately six weeks to get them all out. The reason why it takes so long is because we, we, we do it according to tides. We do most of them by boat. We found that the flies would take natural sort of areas to move. Their flyways were sort of developing. They wouldn't go through dense foliation vegetation, but essentially would come on air currents or breaks. So we would put these as barriers, we'd make a long string of them, and as the flies would leave the marsh, then it would become sort of a barrier effect. Last one going to stake there. This one needs to be repaired now? That one's all set. I think it just needs to be staked. Staking the trap down, the stakes are placed on opposite sides of the trap. That gives the trap equal balance um, when the high tides come in or the winds, in the case of a rainstorm or a thunderstorm on the marsh. I'm just stapling the screen on. Looks like somebody replaced it recently, but they just forgot to staple it or something. We put this heavy-duty mesh wire on the top. And it keeps the uh, usually keeps the birds from poking holes through the, the finer screen underneath, which keeps the flies inside. One hole the size of a dime would we'll probably empty the box out in about ten minutes. We're pretty well established anyway that there's a particular cycle that they have every year. The life cycle is that the female deposits her eggs. And they go through the larval stage and in a pupa stage and they emerge as adult greenheads. And then about the second week in July is when we really see the population climb. Most insects, which we call phototactic, they are going to respond to the light. Now they're in a dark zone. Now they move up to the light, just like they do in our house. Once they're there, they're not going to go from a light to a dark area. There is such a small opening that's going to be more difficult to trace it down. We have found temperatures of 140 degrees at this height on the salt marsh. Once they're up on the top, thrashing around, there's very little moisture, they die rather readily. Behind Cranes Beach, we were able to pull down one million one week by a series of 20-some traps. We're getting 5,000 biting females per hour. Just tremendous numbers. We concentrate uh, very much on high public use areas and we put traps out, for example, uh, along the Northern Boulevard in Salisbury Beach, uh, the Crane Reservation, uh, Essex River along the marina, uh, Good Harbor Beach and uh, along the Anasquam River. We have dramatically reduced uh, the population. I would guarantee you that the majority of those people will say they aren't anything as bad as they used to.